Hey guys, Adam from Equipton Door. Well, I have with me today the Eton FRX2. Now this is a hand cranked weather radio, also has a flashlight, also has some other cool features. Now, put this right here before I get out of the box. You guys have seen little portable radios I've had in other kits before, and having a radio in your bug out bag or your survival kit is very, very important, not only to get critical information like weather reports, but also if there's disasters in your area, and then also it can keep you company still being connected to society if you need to be. Now, some people don't want to be connected in society. That's why they go out in the field. Well, you don't have to turn it on, guys, unless you need it. Uh, but let's check out the Eaton. Now, this one, of course, was sent to us for a test and review, and we're going to do a, a unique test here, and then we'll do a final review a little bit later down the line. I do have to pack this out for a couple of trips to test it out, the function of it out in the field. Okay, so let's open this up real quick and just give you guys a close-up look of the, at the components. All right, guys, so you can see it's a pretty decent-sized package, a little bit bigger than the size of your hand couple of different features but before we go into that I do want to give you a size comparison against your smaller radio so it's going to be substantially larger probably about three and a half four times as large but I think the bonus features that go along with that are pretty neat we're gonna go ahead and turn this on real quick so I can't do too much music because YouTube will get me so anyway guys we can also go to here to a different function as well there's several different weather broadcast channels as well. Uh, we do have an antenna that's actually nicely nice protected inside this case. All right guys, so the solar panel right here, about 10 to 12 hours of solar charge, will let this thing play for about three hours. So that's not a bad, I guess, conversion rate for energy. Uh, you're talking about just leaving it out there at your camp or wherever your survival camp is. But the coolest thing about this is that this is actually a crank. So that extra size is gonna do you pretty well. So, and then to top it all out, we do have a flashlight. One other cool aspect of this is it does have a USB, a mini USB, and a port for head jacks. So if you have headphones with it. So, so what I'm gonna try to do is actually plug this bad boy to my cell phone to see if I can get a charge. Now, I anticipate that the battery charge in here, I'm not gonna have to wind this once my cell phone plugs into it, but you never know, so we'll be prepared for anything. So let's go ahead and try to charge something up. Now, it comes with a mini USB, a regular USB. So most cell phones have a micro USB. The cable that comes with it is a USB to mini. All right, the same thing, you plug your camera or your PlayStation 3 controller. Take this, we're gonna plug it into the phone and we're gonna turn the phone on so I can see the battery and we're gonna switch the dial to cell. Boom. And we're charging, cool. So what this means is this has a battery that will transfer energy to that. You don't need to crank this or use the solar panel for active charge. Let me make sure we'll cover up the solar panel to make sure, yep, we're still getting juice in there. Okay, so that's awesome. Let's turn that off. We'll unplug All this. All right, guys, what I have here is a Energizer battery, emergency battery pack. This will give my HTC Thunderbolt about 25% of battery life. It's pretty cool. This plugs right into it. You can use it while the phone is on and all the other good stuff, it's just a battery extender. The one thing about this though, is I always keep this in my pack for items like this, for, and I don't want to wreck the uh, battery of my phone. So what I'm gonna do, this thing is completely dead by the way. I made sure I killed it for this test. And I wanna see if winding this up, we can get some uh, juice to this thing right now. So I'll put that right there and we'll, we should see some uh, lights are charging. All right, guys, so left this for about 30 minutes and uh, not fully charged yet. It's actually not charging anymore. So that means we probably drained this thing. Yeah, we drained a little bit. All right, guys, so my cell phone's at 50%. Let's go ahead and turn it off. We're going to plug this in here. And we're going to charge this up, see how it does. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so pretty cool item. The only other thing we forgot to do is add the lanyard. We're going to put this bad boy in here. This is kind of a good idea because you, when you're cold or not feeling well, you can lose motor skills. So putting this lanyard on would actually help not to drop the item if uh, you're in a survival situation. So there we go. The Eton FRX2, you know, awesome little item so far. Uh, we're going to be doing some more tests and review on that. We're just going to give you guys a quick overview and check it out. Now, the cool thing about this thing is only 40 bucks. It's actually less than 40 bucks. Let me charge it up real quick. 
and see how long it takes as you guys know we killed the battery charging the other battery and we're on Not too much guys or YouTube will sue me. Uh, but pretty cool. You can see the light died out pretty quick. So we definitely need to put some more juice in there. My phone stopped charging. So that was about 10% addition on the battery. So you think about it guys, you saw me uh, crank this thing for maybe a minute. We got about 10%. That's enough to do a call with no problem. Oop, that turned back on. There's a flash mode going on right now. It's still flashing. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, I guess you can do some signaling as well. All right, guys, so not bad. We're going to throw this in our pack. We're actually planning a trip here in a few days, as long as the weather works with us. We'll definitely be out there testing this as well. So I'm probably going to see how long it takes me to charge up that little battery pack full, and we'll have more information. So just a quick mini test, a little overview. Guys, give this a check out. More to come real soon. You guys can check this out at Eaton, EatonCorp.com. That's E-T-O-N-C-O-R-P.com. They do some on Amazon. I think they're about 38 bucks. So after we give this one away, and we will be giving this one away in the near future, I shall probably buy one of these. This will actually probably fit perfectly in one of my Sabercat pouches. Throw a plastic bag over there to add some waterproof qualities to it. But all in all, very good thing. And I'd like to thank the folks over there who sent this to me to do a test on. And uh, hopefully when you guys get it from the contest, it won't have too many scuffed marks. Like I said before, it does come with a USB to a mini USB cable. So you can have that. But make sure you guys realize that most cell phones nowadays take the micro USBs. All right, guys, Adam from Equipped Door. If you guys have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equippedindoor.com. Don't forget to go check out our website at equippedindoor.com. Tons of great videos, articles, blog, photos forums, everything. You also meet people in your local area who are also interested in wilderness survival skills, canine training, urban survival skills, and all the rest on our forum page. So guys, check out the website. Membership is free. We also do have premium and premium plus members who get a lot of extra stuff for the money. All right, guys, take care. Be safe. Remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks. Thanks.